Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to make a really quick video here because the embargo on Gears of War 4 has finally lifted and with that we got a ton of new information uh, about Gears of War 4's final release and the beta in general. And the first thing I want to talk about is with the final release we're going to be getting uh, 10 maps in total, 9 brand new ones and Gridlock is returning. They are going to be remaking Gridlock. And not only that, any new maps that come out for the game, they're going to kind of do a rotation on a month-to-month -month basis where all the maps, all new maps are going to be free. They're just going to put them in rotation. This way it doesn't separate the community where as, you know, if you buy maps and your friends don't, you can't play with your friends. Everyone's going to be able to play together. Uh, a couple of new other things that are going to be introduced is actually from Gears 3 where we had loadouts uh, we're going to be able to pick up the Lancer again at the start and the Hammer Burst again at the start. The interesting thing is the Hammer Burst is going to be just like how it was in Gears Ultimate Edition and the original Gears. It's not going to be like the Gears 2 and 3 Hammer Burst. It's going to be an actual burst fire weapon again which I'm actually really excited for. I like the Lancer a lot, but at the same time, it's always fun to switch up weapons. Um, I just was never good with the Gears 3 and 2 Hammer Burst. I thought it was a little harder to use, so I never bothered with it. Um, another thing that came out from the beta is we're going to be able to play Team Deathmatch and a new mode that's being introduced in Gears 4, which is called Dodgeball. Basically, I think from the gameplay that i seen, it looks like it has Warzone rules. But every time someone dies, let's say you die and then your teammates kill an enemy, you get to respawn. So basically it's Warzone with respawn rules and it looks like a lot of fun. Uh, another thing that's coming back kind of from Gears 3, Gears Ultimate and kind of with Gears Judgment is the character skins and weapon skins obviously that's a big factor for a lot of people including myself the thing is is that in gears 4 you're going to be able to unlock all the weapon skins or character skins you won't have to buy anything they're going to have weapon crates i'm not exactly sure how that's going to work yet hopefully we see it in the beta um but yeah you can choose to buy weapon and character skins if you want or you can just play the game and lock and lock them um and finally like if you can't tell from the video the way that the gears 4 beta and gears 4 itself is going to play it's going to kind of feel like gears of war 3 with much much needed uh improvements on movement and just i mean it's going to be 60 frames per second we will see that in the beta come up monday on the 18th uh, if you got into the early access um, you can really search for anything there's a ton of videos on YouTube right now uh, just search Gears 4 gameplay and you'll see all the stuff I'm talking about and as always guys thanks for watching like subscribe and leave a comment